what's up guys? I use my hands a lot. I'm sorry, I'm expressive like that. Um, I have a lot of notes. I cannot remember everything off the top of my head. I'm reviewing the most important album of this year. I didn't said it already, Black Messiah. Yes, um, if you've been following me on social media, you already know my stance on that, boys and girls. It's been damn near 15 years since we've heard from him on the album. He's been touring, he did Afro Punk, he did some other things. Speaking of Afro Punk, um, just to give you a little background, if you notice the album, the album is black and white and it has, um, it has, it has people with their fist up. And that is an image that Afro Punk got from the performance that Angelo D'Angelo did with them this summer. Um, I think it was, yeah, Afro Punk was in August this summer. Um, but I also, I've been reading a lot about this album just because it is like everything. It really is. And I have not been this excited about an album since Bilal's unreleased Love for Sale. Like I cannot remember the last time I ate, slept, breathed, like everything. Like I've listened to this album so much. And it's not even just because, the, you know how a lot when you get excited about something, it's like all you want to do is listen to it. No, it, it's really all I want to hear. And it evokes feeling that, you know, a lot of times we, we use music as an escapism. And that's exactly what this is. And I read an article today that Bilal and RCA actually rushed this project because apparently it wasn't supposed to come out to 2015 or whenever D'Angelo was ready, but they felt like this was the perfect time with everything that's going on in the black community and um, it's what the people needed. And honestly, what the reception that it's been getting is just that. Like, this is what we've, this is what we've been missing. Like, we were asleep and now we're awake. Um, the album was released midnight on Sunday on iTunes and I promise to God, D'Angelo broke the internet. Fuck a Kim Kardashian's ass. Um, I love Solange and her wedding, but really, D'Angelo broke the internet. But damn if this isn't great after 14 years. Like, I didn't know what to expect after Voodoo. I didn't know if his voice would be up to par. I didn't know what to expect, but this exceeded my, uh, any expectation I had for this album. And I'm glad I mentioned that. A lot of people are complaining that this album is inaudible, like they don't know what the fuck he's saying. And I just want to bring this to your attention. If you've been a D'Angelo fan, like Brown Sugar, crystal clear. You understood everything he said. Like a lot of Smokey Robinson influences, you can understand everything he was saying. Voodoo, it was a lot of dark, chanty music. And I feel like this is the same thing. Like he, it might be a little more politi politically charged, this album, but I feel like D'Angelo, with these last two projects, it's been, I don't want to say mumbo, but he's always going, nah, 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 nah. you know what I mean? Like you really don't know what he's saying, but I took the time and I opened the booklet and I actually bought this album. And Mickey is always getting on me for <laughs> illegally downloading shit. But that's how important this album is to me and the, the culture. Um, I bought the album, I opened the liner notes, I read the lyrics, and I had a completely different ex experience because the songs made sense to me and I could sing along with them. I feel like this is medicine for a lot of people that have been lacking and we've been sick of what we've been hearing on the radio. So this is like a remedy right before Christmas. Um, I'm gonna give you three songs. I could talk about this album over and over and over and have so much to say. But um, today, my top three, like I said, uh, another life. Another life. When another life comes on, I don't know if it samples Betcha by Golly Why by Prince. I know that uh, D'Angelo is heavily influenced by Slay, uh, Sly and the Family Stone, Prince. Um, they're heavy influences, but I swear to God, when that song comes on, I hear Betcha by Golly Why and I freaking love it. Um, the guitar riffs in that joint, amazing. And I know the chorus because I read the lyrics. I didn't know what he was saying prior to. The charade, amazing. The drums that Questlove is playing on those joints, killing. Um, really Love, oh my God. Uh, like a lot of people have heard Really Love before. He's been playing that at his live show since 2012. So a lot of people know, like that was one of the songs that was leaked. But um, Buy It, 
the preload, uh, pre-order for the vinyl was released yesterday, and it'll be out for Valentine's Day for the, for the vinyl. I'm totally here for it. I definitely pre-ordered it. Buy it. Uh, iTunes, the physical copy. You definitely need the physical copy unless you're gonna look at the lyrics online. Uh, your girl Chanel Loren, Black Messiah is everything. Hit the like button. Tell me what's your favorite songs. Comment. All of that. Happy holidays. Spread love.